Right, we're back with um, Peaches. Hey, sweetheart. How you going? Okay, so your homework was to do that. Hang on nice and firm. Give the head a nod and look in the eye. What I want you to be able to do now is you'll drag your fingers down. Follow this line. And when you get to the end of the nose, you'll pluck. Now there's a little cartilage just there, okay? That's the, uh, I call the little French moustache. So when we hang on to their head and we give them a little nod, looking them in the eye, and then we drag down their face quite firmly, sit you through her head, so no, we'll wait, just quite firmly. That's it, come down underneath there and pluck it. Good girl, and flick your fingers. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> No, no, come here. Little head, give the head a little nod. Hey, sweetheart, no. Look her in the eye. Yeah, girl. And she keeps throwing her head. Put your thumbs just on the top there like that. Go soft. Ah. Oh, good girl. Captured. Back off and flick your fingers. Now, it's really important to flick your fingers properly. Hold your fingers tight under your thumb. And when you flick, it's like you try and get rid of old Vegemite. Hey, girl. Look her in the eye. Hey, sweet. Good. Ah, ah. In the eye. No, nah, that's it. Good girl. Gently. Ah. Good girl. And then pluck off that nose. Real firmly pluck off that nose. She's got snot running out. Look at that. See, so she started her lymphatic drainage. Because the snot's oozing out of her nose. Hey, girl. And part of it is this section gets really, really swollen and she'll get a peak like that. A lot of your horses will get a peak. And what it is, they're trying to stay, it's like, oh, I wanna watch the end of the movie. Oh, and you're holding your eyes open. Hey, sweetheart. G'day, girl. Ah, oh, no. Good girl. Oh, ah. Oh. Good girl. That's not good. So we'll do that again, because she didn't do it good. Good girl. Uh uh. I'll just go. No. I'll just come down and face very. Ah. Uh -uh. Come down along and face real nice and gentle. Good girl. No. 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 So if she keeps doing that, just do one hand. Okay. Do the other side. Look her in the eye. Flies. The sun's terrible here today. Come here, sweetheart. Hey, come here. Good girl. Ah. Good girl. So her head stayed dead still. So we do that. Got to do everything three times. On a horse to remember, do it three times. Good girl. Otherwise she's like, I don't know what you want. Keep it the same. Good girl. So what we're actually doing here, good girl. Oh, you really good girl. Now a little pluck on the nose here, see? Look at the eye, getting that peak. See the peak coming in on the eye there now? So we're giving this horse a really good flush. And what we're doing is we're drawing all the energy down her face. Now what happens, it's like popping a pimple or getting a piece of wood out of your skin. You're squeezing, squeezing, and the moment, and it hurts, it hurts, and the moment that surface, surface gives way and the wood comes out of your arm, is all the relief. But it hurts to the point that that comes out. So what we're doing is we're pulling that energy down her face, and it's hurting because it's like, like that, squeezing your finger, look at my fingers going red, 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 ah, oh, starting to hurt, you know? But, like I say, once that's basically lanced and popped and busted free, then we can just pull all the trauma and whatever else out right there, right in her head. Just a nice, firm little touch, give her head a nod, look in her in the eye, good girl, hey? And right down there like that, underneath the cartilage. 
and flick your hand. Follow the top of the lip. See, that's, that's the mouth. Just go along the top of that. Don't go above the cartilage, you'll hurt her. Go in there like that and then just pluck. All right, so now she's gonna be really highly activated, yes? Hey, sweet. So if we go down the same as before, while she's having a wow of a time, slightly bend your knees. People aren't doing this. You must massage this spot. Got your hand there, flat on the neck. Take the weight of her head. Five deep breaths. When they talk about a soul singer, they don't mean that it's the way they sing or what they're singing about. They're singing from their sole of their foot all the way up. So the best singers sing from the sole of their feet. So when you breathe out, I want you to breathe from the sole of your feet. It's very important. Hand there, hand there, rocking, nice and gently swaying, and just massaging. Close your eyes, go off a na na land, and then you can picture her heart beating as you breathe in. Big, deep breath. And when you do, see all these clouds above us, big white clouds? You can just visualize them going straight down into your lungs. Then when you breathe out, breathe out from your soul the whole time, massaging with your hand, nice and gentle, and rocking with your arm. Now, if it's a brand new horse, from this situation, after about three minutes, and we're linked, and the horse is, and you, you'll feel she's like wet spaghetti, you can start to do that. And when you do do that, change your feet. Bring this one back, and point the other foot back towards her, uh, back of her, and then, you'll just do this and within three or four minutes you'll be down on a wild horse's buttocks giving it a good old scratch now when I go down I go down like that and I dig my fingers and I always do a circle slowly come back up here and you can use your fingers on that side and the heel of your hand on this side and just follow that down just like that oh she said that is so good and don't push on their chest. People get here going, oh yeah. Remember, this is gonna push your horse back. So just come down nice and gentle. Look at that. Oh, good girl. And of course, we're Bluetoothing. So we go back to those five deep breaths, okay? So you stand here taking those deep breaths. And when you do, the arch of your foot's coming right up with you. When you breathe out, just breathe everything out in your body. Second breath. You picture her heart beating in her chest. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, you picture your heart beating in your chest. And you do that three or four times and then your hearts are beating at the same rate. Now a horse beats a lot slower than us. So it'll calm you right down. And if the horse is jumping around a bit and you're calm, your heart will calm the horse's heart down. Look at it, she can barely pick her head up now. So, and after two or three sessions of this, most likely three, when you get within a few metres of your horse, your horse will automatically go into the same state because you'll become the trigger. And the, the horse then will go, oh, I love it when this bike comes in. And this, this, this companion of mine comes in and gets a certain distance from me, oh, I feel so good. And they'll automatically go into a lymphatic drainage. And you'll automatically stand in here and you'll, you'll become one again. All right. That's a good one, Gil.